Here you are on Wild Biosphere, and today we're diving deep into the world of reptiles and electricity. Will an alligator's skin provide insulation from an electric eel? Let's find out. Before we get started, let's understand what makes electric eels so fascinating. Contrary to their name, they're not actually eels, but rather a species of knife fish. Found in the freshwater rivers of South America, electric eels possess a remarkable ability to generate electric shocks, which they use for hunting, self-defense, and communication. The electric eel's electric organs are made up of specialized cells called electrocytes. When these cells discharge simultaneously, they create a powerful electric current. In fact, electric eels can generate shocks up to 600 volts, more than enough to stun or even incapacitate their prey. On the other hand, we have the mighty alligator. These ancient reptiles are known for their tough, armored skin, built to protect them from various threats in their environment. But will an alligator's skin be enough to shield it from the electric shocks of an electric eel? To answer that question, we need to consider the electrical properties of the alligator's skin. The outer layer of an alligator's skin is covered in tough, keratinized scales which provide excellent protection against physical damage. However, when it comes to electricity, the story is a bit different. Scientists have conducted experiments to determine the insulating properties of alligator skin. They found that the skin does provide some resistance to electric shocks, but it's not completely impervious. The electric eel's shock can still pass through the alligator skin, although the intensity decreases significantly when an electric shock encounters the alligator's skin, it initially travels along the path of least resistance. This often means following the blood vessels, nerve endings, and other conductive tissues present in the alligator's body. As a result, the shock disperses and loses strength. According to the research, the thickness and moisture content of the alligator's skin play a crucial role in determining the extent of shock absorption. The thicker the skin, the more resistance it offers, Additionally, dry skin tends to be a better insulator than wet or moist skin. To illustrate this, scientists conducted further experiments comparing dry and wet alligator skin. The results showed that dry skin provided better insulation, reducing the electric shocks effects more effectively than wet skin. However, it's important to note that even dry alligator skin cannot completely eliminate the electric shock. In nature, it's rare for alligators and electric eels to come into direct contact. They inhabit different regions and have distinct ecological roles. While alligators can withstand electric shocks to some extent, they have other adaptive strategies to avoid confrontations with electric eels altogether. In conclusion, an alligator's skin does provide some insulation from an electric eel's shocks, but it is not foolproof. The alligator's scaly armor and the characteristics of its skin help to reduce the intensity of the shock. However, it's important to remember that electric eels have evolved to deliver powerful jolts of electricity and no amount of insulation can completely eliminate their effects. That's all for today's exploration, Nature Explorers. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of reptilian electricity. Remember to subscribe to Wild Biosphere to keep exploring the wonders of our natural world. See you next time.